Yo, what's up, guys? Pendulum vs. Monarchs coming up right now. Pure Endymion, the Pen God, versus the Monarch God himself, Lithium. Lithium is one of the biggest inspirations of this entire channel, and without him, there would be no Troop Gaming. So today, I have the greatest pleasure ever of destroying him in a good old-fashioned Yu-Gi-Oh! duel. So let's get started, boys. But before we do, don't forget to smash the subscribe button if we hit... 41,000 subscribers by Monday. You guys have five days. If we get 41,000 subscribers, guess what, boys? I am going to challenge another YouTuber in this crusade of Yugi tubers of Trip Samurai X1, baby. I'm going to go challenge Team Samurai X1 to a battle of Yu Gi Oh! Pendulums versus Dinos. Not only this video gets 4, 41,000 subscribers. So smash the subscribe button. It's gonna be a big challenge, man. But guess what? If I, as long as I plan a trip game you play, man, it'll be no problem. So you guys should do that too. Get your tripgame.com. I want that being said to the sick music, baby. Pendulum vs. Monarch. Let's go. <laughs> It's time, boys. Pendulum versus Monarchs. Trip versus Lithium. Let's go. This video, I'll be using Pure Endymion, as I've said, versus Monarchs. Look at my hand. There's definitely some new decks that I'm playing in here. This isn't your average Endymion deck. This is built to destroy the meta. I'll most likely be using some form of Pendulums at this weekend's PPG Remote Tool Tournament. Uh, just so you guys could see it, I put a link down below. I'll be streaming it all day on Saturday. I think I'm going to play Endymion, but what, what deck should I play, boys? What deck should I play? Endymion, should I play Zephra, or should I play Eldritch? Let me know in the comments, because, man, I, I'm having a tough time choosing. But let's see how this deck does against a, a, a Vanity's Fiend, which this card is just an auto-win versus entire format. But is it an auto-win against the best deck? Yes, my hand is insane. But guess what? I see zero cards in the extra deck. I see a Vanity's Fiend. There is no way he's playing hand traps. I'm going to go play like Ash is not a card. But even if he hands scaling both my cards here, Abductor and Servant. and But that's fine for me because I'm, I'm, I realize that, that Servant can't be used. Uh, but that's okay. I use Abductor to search a Centric, which is the best card. One of the best cards in this format. No car deck is seeing this coming. With the beauty of Pure Endymion, you go Abductor to search a Centric. A Centric... Pop the Virtual World Trap card, and then you use Mighty Master to blow up the board. And all of this just destroys Chuchi, destroys VFD, then you have Negates to stop the Virtual World player from playing next turn. Uh, and here, as you could tell, it worked out great. It popped the Vanity's Fiend, and now because I drew so good, I could still continue playing. Uh, so I'm going to go into, we are playing a, a mini Mythical Engine, mini Mythical Engine, because we need to search a Servant in this deck. The way we're playing this deck is... Search Servant of Endymion Turbo. That's the way we're playing this deck. So that's why we need to play as many... We have so many spells, so we're playing Institution. We go Crowley and just get the draw here. I need anything except a Blue Boy. I end up drawing the Blue Boy, obviously, but, I mean, it's fine. My hand is still so insane. It, it's just ridiculous. Like, I didn't even... After I use my Normal Summon Eccentric, I can't Normal a Blue Boy because I already used my Normal Summon. And I'm going to get a, a free Appalooza here. I'm going to draw. I'm going to look at this hand, man. This hand's insane. I cleared the Vanity Sphere. I Pendulum Summon, and I just attack for game. All right, boys, we're going to show game two now. Uh, and also, at the end of the video, I'll be posting a deck list. So I'll be posting a deck list on YouTube, but I'll be posting cool tips and tricks that are pretty hard to see with, like, the blind eye of playing Endymion on my Patreon. So you guys can go check that out as well in the link below. But anyways, let's get on to game two. Uh, Pendulum versus Monarchs, Trip versus Lithium. Let's get it. That hand was ridiculous. So let's see how game two turns out. I'm posting the deck list at the end of this video, so you guys should definitely... Stay tuned to see the rest of that. Uh, game two, much of the same. He's going to go Vanity Fiend, but he also the Twin Twister this time. He couldn't get into Aether. He didn't open Pantheism any of the two games. So you got a feel for Lithium here, not opening any uh, of his ways into Pantheism. But you know what? That's kind of the deck. The, the deck, uh, the Monarch's Brick, you know? But at the same time, he pulled off the deck's best combo, which is Vanity Fiend, Twin Twister, and also the Feel Spell just for good measure. Here, I open another good hand, but not nearly as good as the last one. And this line's like, it's okay. Like, you know, it's all right. It's all right. So here, we're going to go into Abductor, Magister, Secrets. I want all my cards to gain spell counters. I recognize that I won't have enough spell counters for Eccentric. 
So I normal summon Blue Boy first, and then I get Eccentric the following turn. I go Knowledge to draw two. He Twin Twists, after I draw, he Twin Twisters both my Abductor and my Magister, which is a little bit unfortunate, being that, you know, Abductor can't switch to the Eccentric, but that's fine. I mean, this is a long duel. I'm just gonna wait. And I need, uh, I'm just gonna wait my, my turn here. I go Garuda to pop his, his domain, uh, because I don't want him to go into Aether, make a level six, stuff like that. I just want to pop it. And I never will pop it again. I go Abductor. I do not activate Desires because if I go Desires, I can banish the Centric and get really screwed. Uh, so I end up, he attacks again. I draw into the Centric. Let's go, baby. Uh, I didn't need an Eccentric. I actually just needed any spell card. Any spell card. And I play like 20,000 spells. It's 22 spells on the deck or something. Then Abductor would have been able to search the Eccentric. And then Eccentric would be able to pop the Vanity Fiend. So we were good in that situation anyways. We didn't need to hard draw the Eccentric. But Eccentric, as you guys can tell, is MVP. Uh, th th this deck, honestly, is really good, man. We built it to destroy the meta, and it just so happens. It's good versus Elich, it's good versus Monarch, it's good versus Virtual World, it's good versus Drytron uh, having outs to the Vanity Ruler. Uh, so it's like, th it's really good. He, he ends up breaking, as you guys see. He, he didn't uh, have a way to draw into his monsters. So it's a little unfortunate that uh, Lithium couldn't showcase his power of Monarchs to its full extent. But everyone knows Lithium, he's the Monarch God. So, I have no doubt that he's going to be on channel back again uh, for the rematch. Uh, so, you got to feel for my boy Lithium not opening the best of his hand. But you know what? It's okay. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyways, that's the video, guys, in terms of the, the duel. And now I'm going to show you guys my deck list that I use. And the deck list is, is absolutely unbelievably good. This is the deck list that I use. Servant, Triple Abductor, Double Reflection, Double Magister. Uh, you don't need more than two of Reflection and Magister because they could brick. Triple Master, Double Servers, Double Jack of One Garuda. You need to have... Uh, I could play three servers as well because you normal summon Abductor if you draw both. But I never want... I, you play so many draw cards, it's ridiculous, like 15. So I don't want to have Abductor in the scale, Reflection in the scale, and draw into this. Or Magister for that matter. Two Jackals, fine. I'd play one if I didn't play Desires, but you have to play Desires. Garuda, it's like I said, you need as many cards that could pop. Truche, the trap card as possible. Uh... I don't want Virtual World to be an issue. Like, this deck could steamroll through Virtual World without side decking, simply because you have, you have so many outs to back row, uh, like Garuda and Eccentric. And it works really well for Elich and uh, random trap decks as well. Uh, so, yeah, it beats two-thirds of the meta just having this. So Because Garuda is searchable by Cerberus, also searchable by Institution. Uh, so it's very important. Uh, Eccentric, searchable by Magical Abductor, which is the only reason you play one of each of these. They're searchable MSTs. Double Souls, you don't need three. Double Blue Boy, Double Secrets. These are fucking mandatory. If you're playing Endymion and not playing two Blue Boy, two Secrets, you're you're an idiot. I'm sorry. You're, you're just a, you're a moron. You need to play four of these. They're literally Pot of Greed. And you don't normal summon in this deck. You, you need to play four. There's no, draw, what if I draw too many? You just send the thing you drew and you save your normal summon. You need to play all these four. Triple Desires, one upstart, one into the void. Knowledge is actually very good in this deck. It's not a brick anymore, simply because I'm Artemis Maiden. It is not a brick ever with this card in the extra deck. So you never have any dead draws of knowledge. And if you have to normally your abductor, you can always secrets into the knowledge, plus off the abductor, then use the knowledge to send the abductor. Because abductor will go into Artemis, and then knowledge send Artemis. So any of your cards could be used with knowledge. Uh, triple Desires, upstart, into the void. And uh, yeah, Triple Institution. It doesn't seem like... So I always thought this card is a brick, and honestly, it is. But since you're playing so many cards that hold counters, not just the Cerberus, like we're talking Servant, Abductor, Reflection, Magister, uh, and you have so many extra spells like Goods and Fusion, it's always resolving to search something. The level 1 Jackal sucks, so you can just end up searching the Magister or Servant, and you're good. Uh, Triple Mastery, obviously, just once in a day, one Terraforming for the sole purpose of... put for side deck, to have Terraforming as a option of getting secret village or getting mystic mine so it's really good to have that and then triple mastery one instant fusion and then the main thing here is double goods and fusion not many people play it but it is extremely good especially because going second if you hard draw the fusion you have souls to send it abductor to search souls you have nightmare phoenix to send it you have mighty master to pop it you have goods to draw it. like it's just free draw power i i really enjoy it uh in terms of the side deck here we have six auto wins against drytron Six auto wins versus, versus Virtual World. Uh, Gamma on your turn stops the VFD. Uh, Lancia stops them from even doing anything. Uh, so those are like the auto wins. Uh, obviously, you might need a little more for Drytron. But the way you build this deck, you can't have enough for everything. I was debating taking out uh, Mystic Mine and Secret... I was with Mystic Mine, Secret Village, and like one Terraforming to put in three extra spaces for Dimension Shifter. But the way you build this deck, 
Dimension Shifter really hurts the way you build this deck because you have to Link Summon a lot and then Pendulum Summon them back. So it defeats the purpose of the deck. You can't stop, like, it, it really hurts this deck as well. And there's no actual other one card auto win against Drytron other than these six and uh, Dimension Shifter, but this deck can't do anything after that. It could put up one or two negates, but it's not enough to stop Drytron. This is the extra deck. These are the Link 2s that are all mandatory. Phoenix, Unicorn. I'm re I am really wanted to put in the new card uh, that, that's extremely powerful with Mascarena, but I opted not to. I, I left it here uh, to leave you guys a situation that against Droll, you do have Instant Fusion and Triple Gammas. You have four outs to Droll, which should be good, but I would probably take out the Instant Fusion and the uh, uh, Millennium Eyes for the Underworld Goddess, just because Mascarena and Goddess is that insane. But if you really want, you can take out the Nightmare Phoenix because you already have so many outs to back row in the main deck and put in this card, which with paired with Mascarena is fucking nuts. And you do need to have a, a Mascarena Unicorn to be able to out the Zodiac cards. Anyways, that's a deck. I think it's amazing. And uh, yeah, pen best deck. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below what deck you guys think I should play on this weekend's PPG Remote Tool Tournament. Uh, it's a case tournament. I want to win the fucking case, baby. So let me know what, what, what deck you guys want me to play. Uh, I'm going to play whatever I think is best. Uh, I'm leaning towards Endymion or Zephra. But also, you guys know I have a soft spot for Eldritch. And I have a really cool Eldritch deck I want to try. So I don't know what deck you're going to play yet. But let me know down in the comments what deck you guys want me to play. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Before we go, go on TripGaming.com. Peace. Yeah.